and Wreck TV. gotta address what's currently mm -hmm. on the landscape as well mm -hmm. uh styles p he went off on math hoffa due to the fact yeah. of the jay hood interview and all that what's your thoughts king man um like i don't really like to comment too much on other nigga shit i used to like mm -hmm. let certain shit be but if i feel like if certain parts may have some type of effect i always like get my opinion you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying but um i just feel like i feel like with that joint I rock, I fuck with Matt. Um, I actually a fan of him too. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just like it's unfortunate. It was whack. You know what I mean? I just think better communication will help things in the future. I just feel like right. you know, like if you like if you if you um, especially a show like to that caliber, like if you book a show, like I'm pretty sure the scheduling to have you know mentally that you got both of these guys coming. So I think the disconnect was. Math was pretty much looking at the hindsight of it, and, and P was looking at it from the foresight. You know what I mean? So they both had a valid point. They mm -hmm. both had a valid mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think you got to lean more to the foresight because that gives you an opportunity to plant the seed. The hindsight is like a reminder of it, like a it's gonna be a reaction. So the foresight kind of like so you know, like the conversation before the interview like mm -hmm. it's and then it's your it's your position as a person that your job is to ask questions sometimes we forget certain shit because we human you know what i mean and someone of styles p's caliber i'm pretty sure that type of question would have been somewhere at the bottom of like his list <laughs> like he wasn't probably right. even thinking about that shit there's so much more dope mm -hmm. shit that he want to ask like I, mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but I also, you still just accountability to the fact, like when you man a ship, you still got to have your head on a swivel. So even as good as shit, a certain goal, you know, a certain lines, you still got to like, that's your job to remember that shit. Like, yo, you still got to plant that seed, the foresight. Cause I've, I've, I personally feel like he didn't have hood book after styles left. I think he already had it, the schedule as it have, it just happened. They was in the same week. So I think he still had time to give him the foresight. I think that's what P was saying. Like, you ain't give me a chance to plant the seed. And then you, you know what I mean? But still mm -hmm. relevant to him saying, like, in the hindsight, like, yo, I held it and reached out. Like, I'm not knocking him for that either. So mm -hmm. it's just whack. It's unfortunate. And I just think moving forward, better communication to make shit smooth. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to say this, right, about the whole hood shit, right? So... For me listening to what's going on, this is just the only question that I have. Like, as mm -hmm. so we went through the timeline, so y'all could kind of get an idea of what part I may play in this, being around at the time or being able to influence certain shit, right? Mm -hmm. And um, because <clears throat> I you see my energy. This is how even during this time, right? So, so um my my question really is like, how many fucking times do we gotta keep hearing this shit though? Like mm -hmm. So you talking because about hood right now? Talking about hood shit. Okay. Like hood hood yeah. shit is this. It's like he's had his moment. He flipped, went at him, separation. He had his space. Mm -hmm. He had his time to come to his closure part. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, he did like a record or something to the effect of like a letter to the locks. And and this is old, right? <clears throat> Y'all can mm -hmm. look this shit up. He did a letter to the locks and, you know, just showing his maturity and just moving past him. It was dope. I thought it was fire. Mm. Made amends with him, spoke to him, right? Everybody love. All right, cool. We moving on. Cool. Now, I could see if this happened maybe the last year or two and it, and you felt like it was still some untold, you know, uncovered stones you wanted to. So you kind of reiterating the story. But this that we told that I'm talking about right now, this shit happened nine damn near ten years ago. Mm. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, damn, I thought we already got to that point. So like the code of honor, like, is different. I forget he's younger, maybe, to the sense not giving them no excuses for not knowing the G code. But it's just like it's certain shit you don't just keep digging in old wounds. If you had closure, then just leave it at that. Because mm. this this isn't recent. This didn't just happen. Like. 
We've mm-hmm. had closure for years now. Like I know her personally. Like I said, mm-hmm. we cool. I always had a good relationship with him. I ain't never had nothing foul mm-hmm. with hood. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I wasn't one of them hating niggas. Like that would have been dope, though. Oh, he, mm-hmm. he made the closure. Maybe they'll do a reunion. Maybe they won't. But just the idea, mm-hmm. like it's cool. The fans, mm-hmm. I know they probably want to see that shit. Yeah, I would. Good. I'm not, being a D, being a D block member. Would never hate on that. I would promote that for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um. It is what it is. I'm just saying, like, we heard this. I thought we already got to the conclusion. So I don't know why you feel like you got to keep telling the story 29 more times. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I thought we got to that point. Now you're going back in it again. It's like, but you know, and I'm never, well, I'm never telling somebody don't tell a story. Like, he, that man deserves. I'm glad you said that. I was about said. to say that. I'm glad you yeah, said that. Every, but what I'm yeah. saying, but do y'all, do y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, yes. listening from Truly. somebody that's. Un- yes. Yes. We already did though. We did mm-hmm. the story ten different. He on all these different platforms. He said the same shit already. This mm-hmm. ain't new though. So some mm-hmm. people might be seeing this and they like, oh. But we literally had a thing. Like mm-hmm. it, they went through that phase, mm-hmm. and then it came to the closure. Well, you know what I'm saying? People ask you. So I guess maybe he though. didn't get all the closure he felt he needed, but. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me looking like, damn, I thought we already did this. Like, oh, you doing this shit again? Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, you know, like I said, I ain't want to call out his shit. Like I said, that's that. Uh, there's certain things that's debatable that he said, and there's certain shit that's not. There's certain shit that I ain't getting into. Who owns money? That's his thing. Respectfully, mm-hmm. that's, I'm not getting into that. But certain shit, though, that really made me say, come on, dog. Like, you... You ain't no fucking co-founder of no fucking D-Block, dog. Like, come on. You could you could say you you could say you the first artist. Like, you the mm-hmm. first nigga. Like, yeah, nobody mm-hmm. can debate that. Mm-hmm. But co-founder? Come on, my nigga. Like, stop the cap, my nigga. Stop the fucking mm-hmm. cap. Because think about it. Think about it. I knew, I just put myself in the shoes, right? Mm-hmm. Me, right? If I know in my heart that I've helped create or co-founder something and I separate from it, you think I'm going to just give it up that easy? Mm. If that was me, nigga, nigga, I'm the real D block. Fuck y'all niggas talking about, nigga. I started, I helped. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's would have been my thing. Like you ain't gonna just take this, now, nah, nigga. If I'm out, a part of this is out with me too, nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got the block. Y'all can have the D then. Fuck it, pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I know you be slick. Like get him the D, nigga. I got the block. <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, like I'm putting myself in it though. Yeah, I got yeah. It. No, but that definitely. one time in the history of this, did he claim it? Did he re- mm-hmm. He started his own shit. Mm-hmm. And then you look at it from their perspective. Look at it from the lot's perspective. Mm-hmm. And if they knew in their heart that they, he, he like cold create found, they would have changed the name. They don't want nothing to tie, attached, created to. They wouldn't have wanted nothing moving on that would have been in, in, in coercion with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or anything mm-hmm. he had to do something with. They would have mm-hmm. just changed the whole shit. But we never seen that. It is what it is because mm-hmm. that's their shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's it. You know what I mean? But like I said, that, that's just my opinion because I'm a current member before. We not talking about the record label. We talking about the block, the brotherhood. This is my hood. 354 is the first thing y'all ever heard the lock say on their freestyles. Go back and do your research. When they mm-hmm. on a clue tape, what block they screaming? 354. That's my block. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So this is before hood. Know what I mean? So I can say my two cents. Like, know what I mean? Like I said, I only speak on the shit I feel is relevant for me to say something on. Right. But that, nah, this D block mm. shit. P was in the pen. He was on D. He was in the fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? I was in jail, nigga. Mm-hmm. P was in the county. I was in prison though. Let's now nah, not trying to trump my car, but nah, nigga. I would. P was in the county, nigga. I was mm. up north, nigga. But he mm. came up with the shit then, nigga. From mm. jail life, nigga. Jail mentality. But it was dedication, mm-hmm. discipline, and determination, which was the deciding factor of naming it that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But yeah. as far as sitting at a table and, come on, dog. You, the, Hood was a young homie. He was like 13, 14. You like, know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like, that's babe, bro. Like, I ain't knocking him. I wish him the mm-hmm. best. It's all love. Mm-hmm. But I was around. So yeah. there's, there's just certain shit I ain't going to let slide by. Like, nah, that's cap, dog. Certain shit you can have, like I ain't. That's your business, but that mm-hmm. nah, nigga. Cause nah. I know I would have, I wouldn't have never let it niggas think they could take D Block if I created it, nigga. Fuck you, mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, so you saying that though? 
What you think about when Dr. Dre walked away from Death Row and he started Aftermath? Right. You know, Death Row was his baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good. Um. That's a good comparison, Analogy. but it's yeah. different mm -hmm. because of the age. Mm -hmm. Of <laughs> the course. Age of influence was involved in. Um, he made that conscious decision on his own because he just didn't want to be attached to it. You know what I mean? That was his own. But if he wanted to, he could have. We know that. Right. But mm -hmm. I don't really try to come. I can't really compare it to that nah. because at the end of the day, like I said, Hood was just young. He was a kid. Mm -hmm. So how much influence do you really have at a round table? <laughs> what? Nigga, shut yeah. up and get in the back. Nigga, rap. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just saying like. A young nigga, like mm -hmm. I'm 27, you 13, nigga, you like could be my son, like, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you know, you. so I, 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 I just really can't buy the whole like the creation founder part. The mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. you could pop shit all day. I'm the pioneer, y'all niggas, D block, like you know, pop your mm -hmm. little shit. Mm -hmm. But don't go like, nah, man, because none of us would be repping it. I know I wouldn't even be repping it then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I knew that, like, if I knew, like, nah, this is kind of hood shit. Nah, y'all y'all tripping. I'm going back three, five, four, four more. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I would have felt. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Gotcha. Was, yeah. yeah. It's all so good, though. I, I know this is kind of <laughs> tough, but I got to ask you. You mm. on MREC TV, Unsung Heroes and all that. Mm -hmm. So when um Jay Hood, I guess, got on stage with 50, what was your thoughts? Okay. M Wreck TV.